Oh, is that someone at the door? Hi. Hello, neighbour. How are you doing? Not too bad. I was just wondering, I'm going away for two nights. Mm -hmm. Do you mind walking my dog while I'm away? Of course. I love walking dogs. Uh, is this the, the little one? Yes. Excellent. Thank you. Go have fun on your adventures. Thank you. Hello, little one. Would you like to go for a walk? You would. Whoa! Welcome to China! Heel! Oh, hi, neighbour. Hi. Um, sorry to tell you this, but I, I, I've lost your dog. Well, it's alright, it was invisible anyway. Oh, oh, phew. Who left that poo on the ground then? I don't know the answer to that question. Oh. Hey, Jared, how you doing? Hey, I think we're pretty good actually. How are you? I'm pretty good, yeah. I was just actually wondering mm. do you know any of your other neighbours where you live? Well, actually. Right now, I don't have a neighbour to my right, mm. and I only know that the neighbour on the left has a black pug that goes... His <laughs> name is Frank. The neighbour or the dog? The dog. Oh, okay. Well, you The owner's name is Maria. Ah, she's lovely. She is lovely. Mm. Well, and I also know Kay across the road. Oh, she's wonderful. Yeah, mm. and we also are friends with their... Uh, we've got neighbours across the road, but just to the right. He's actually been on Jared before. Oh, you mean Nick? Yeah. Oh, Nick and Sarah, they're lovely. Yeah. Mm. I wonder if you guys at home know your neighbours. Ooh, do you know their names? Mm. Do it they can, have pets? It can be difficult to know who your neighbours are if you move around a lot. Yeah, and if you're kids, it's sometimes a bit hard to sort of introduce yourselves to older people, but... My parents have lived in the same house for like... A million years? 389 years. Hmm, that's a long time. And they know their back neighbours so well that they actually have a gate between their houses so that they can just go and visit each other. Party? Yeah. That's well, awesome. Speaking of parties, yeah. my parents' neighbours have a party every New Year's in their court together where they live. Oh, that's real cute. Do you do something like that, J-Red? I wonder. I wonder if you get to hang out with your neighbours sometimes. Hmm, that sounds like fun. Alright, J-Rev, we weren't satisfied with the plank challenge, so we're gonna do some arm wrestling now. So, Jin and Levi are gonna face each other, and then I'm gonna have a turn. Three, two, one. <laughs> ah, that's it! That's it! Jude wins! All right, so now it's going to be me versus Jude and Levi at the same time. All right, Ooh. let's go. Oh, careful. Ready, set, go. <laughs> 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 yeah. Okay, now my strong hand. You know what, Sarah, speaking of neighbours, mm. this week is actually a really neighbourly week. Is it your birthday? Oh, not really, almost, but it's actually NADOC week. Ooh, what are you doing for NADOC week? Well, in NADOC week, we like to celebrate our Indigenous neighbours, so we like to learn all about their cultures and all the things that they do, um, because we're actually living on their land right Whoa. now. Yeah. If you're in Australia, of course. Pretty crazy. Yeah. So maybe you at home have been uh, learning about um, the different people that you live with. So maybe um, maybe you've been learning something about their art or maybe their song or their dance or about their dream time stories. You, you could be learning a whole bunch of cool stuff. Well, yes, yes. if they are learning a heap of stuff, how are we going to hear about it? Oh, well, there's this actually a really special thing that we've got called the J River Wonderbooks. Tell me more about that. Oh, well, it's really simple. All you need to do is, if you're with an adult, get them to help you send in whatever you've been learning to this address on the screen, and maybe we can have it on the show. Sounds good. Yeah. Sarah here, and I'm here today with my friend, Robert. This is Robert, everybody. Robert and I have known each other for a long time, but today I thought I would invite Robert along to ask him some questions about special week this week, which is NADOC week. NADOC week. Yeah. So, would you mind telling the guys at home, what is NADOC week? And you call me Robert. Yeah, I called you Robert, <laughs> which is weird, because often I call him Robbie, and yeah. we yell, Robbie! upstairs. <laughs> Everybody calls me Robbie. Yeah, well, NADOC week is um, it's a special week, and there's a lot of different weeks hmm. throughout the year, isn't it? Yeah. 
Um, and so we just finished Reconciliation Week and Mabo Day and whole yeah. and there's Refugee Week. So it's NADOC Week starting this Sunday. Mm-hmm. It goes from Sunday to Sunday. Mm-hmm. Um, and it kind of like goes back to the 1920s. It's a um, long time yeah, ago a long now. Time ago, man. Um, and over the period of time, there's been um, there's been a push to um, well, it started off as one day, and it's, the NADOC actually stands for National Aboriginal and Islander Day Observance Committee. That's a long, long time. <laughs> so you can it? see what they say, NADOC. <laughs> um, and so, like, uh, it was it was a day to like it was kind of started off as a protest against you know like how the uh, Aboriginal people were treated yeah. early days and and um, and then you know there's certain politicians and activists. Yeah, got on board, and um, that was a, it was a committee that started off on a, a day, mm-hmm. and then um, probably some time later, maybe seventy five or seventy six, mm-hmm. um, it got into a week, mm-hmm. so a celebration over a week, and um, so and then and rather than just being a protest, man, you mm-hmm. know, it was, it was, it's about celebrating the good things about yeah. reconciliation society, and and we as a people in this you know this nation together as as a whole, so. Um, yeah, so you go from Sunday to Sunday. Um, yeah, I might leave it open. You might want to yeah, ask a couple more questions. I've got more questions. <laughs> so I know that a lot of the guys at home will be doing some NADOC week activities at school yeah, yeah. Uh, and lots of different stuff like that. What's your favourite thing about NADOC week? Um, well, I used to go to the march, and I've taken yeah. a couple of staff members to yeah. to the march. Um, there's a lot of different activities, you know, yeah. so there's, sometimes it's hard to pick and choose, but... Um, the march is always a good thing. It's, it's a nice kind of feeling and atmosphere, yep. you know. Um, and then there's the, we used to call it the NADOC ball, mm-hmm. which is kind of still a NADOC ball, but it's mm-hmm. called a gala dinner. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, that's on a Saturday night. So, But the, the, I think the most favourite thing is the Sunday, the first Sunday, mm-hmm. because we have a church service. Yeah. <laughs> that's <laughs> good Sunday, fun. Yeah, yeah. Um, and I don't know if people remember um, Lauchi Adonio. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. She actually got that going years, yeah. years back, and um, when it fell, it fell by the wayside a little bit. And she, she said, "No, we got to, we got to start the week off in church." Yeah, you know, and, 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 and for us, yeah, yeah. church goes. I think it's a good thing, you know. It's and, important. And, yeah, it's one of the reasons why we're talking about. Obviously, it's helpful that this week is NADOC week while we're talking about being a good neighbour. Yeah, but that's something we've started learning about in JRev is how does Jesus help us to be a good neighbour to each other? Yeah, have you got any good advice for the guys at home around how we can be good neighbours to each other as we celebrate NADOC week together? Uh, just in um, enjoy friendships, yeah. making friendships, yeah. and don't be frightened to so like make mistakes and and um, be out there and respect. You know, I think yeah. for all cultures and. Uh, like when I grew up at school, there was, I had a lot of good friends, mm. you know, and there was there was discrimination, but mm. kids got picked on if they had buck teeth or freckles mm-hmm. or they were too tall or mm-hmm. a bit chubby, mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, or they had red hair, you know. Yeah. Um, and then uh, if you're Aboriginal or, you know, stuff, there's, there's a range of stuff, but um, just respect and, and you know, um, making friendships and keeping friendships is a thing. Yeah, despite, keeping friendships is tricky sometimes. Despite what other people your friends say. Uh-huh, yeah, yeah. that's all right. Hey, so J Rev, uh, Robert's brought in some cool stuff for us today. What did you bring into the studio for us today? Um, first of all, I've got a bottle of water. <laughs> Very important. <laughs> Stay hydrated. Um, no, just to water my throat because I'm going to pay the didgeridoo. Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah. Hey, um, can you tell us what's special about the didgeridoo for those of us who maybe don't know much about it? Um, what's special about the didgeridoo is it's, it's, a, it's a musical instrument, first yep. of all. Um, usually just the men play it mm-hmm. um, back home. And it's played up. Well, early days were just up the top end of uh, Northern Territory, Western Australia and Queensland. Mm-hmm. It was never played it, but a lot of us play it these yeah. days, you know. And, um, so I, um, and it's a, it's a, it's an instrument you can, you can, you can talk through. Like you can, you can use a sound language. Like, so I'll say some things through it. Yeah. Um, and, and just convert it into a sound language and hopefully you can understand. Kind so of like a game. You're about to play a bit of a game with us. So I ask him? Yeah. And so they can guess? Yeah, yeah, so yeah. So rather than tell them? Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. all right. Now, um, so I'm going to play it, and I'll, I'll, a little bit of warm-up first, and I'll, pl- I'll, I'll make some, I'll say something, and then we've got to try and, we've got to try and guess what it is, yeah? Sounds good. Yeah, all right, here we go. Oh, <laughs> 
This one here. Yep. What was that one? Did you do? Hey! <laughs> um, and what I did do was like say Ghana. Uh huh. Yeah, Ghana. Which is the land that we live and film on here in the J Rep studio. Yeah, so we kind of like make acknowledgement that we, we're doing this on Ghana land. Yeah. And, then I play, and then I said Nanadiri. Uh huh. Which I'm a Nanadiri man. Yeah. Um, Where's your family from? Uh, what part of Australia? Raukin. Yeah. Oh, one funny little thing. Yeah. A lot of people say Raukin with an L in it. Wrong. It's got no L. No. Nah. <laughs> they say Raukin. Mm-hmm. That's funny. So it's kind of in South Australia's southeast. Down past Murray Bridge. Yeah. Yeah. Point the right way. Yeah. <laughs> and I, I said Lardle, which is uh, the Lardle people from Mornington Island, because uh, two men taught me how to play. Ah. Yeah, so I kind of learnt the... Proper way? Yeah, Is yeah. that the right way to say it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> from good, from men from an area where it's originally from. So. Yeah. How old were you when you learned how to play the jazz? Uh, maybe 26 or... Yeah, wow. Yeah. So you've been playing a while now. Yeah, I'm a little bit older now. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, and it's good to be here. Yeah. yeah. Well, thanks, Robert, for coming into the studio today uh, to hang out with us. Happy and NADOC week. Happy NADOC week. And uh, we'll see what else we can learn about NADOC week. Bye. Bye. Who are your neighbours? Usually when we're talking about who your neighbour is, we're talking about the people who maybe live next door to you or if you live in like an apartment block, maybe it's the people who also live like above you or beneath you. I wonder how many neighbours you have. And how many neighbours you have usually depends on what area you live in. Like, for example, I live in a suburb in Adelaide. And so on my street, I have a neighbour either side of me, one behind me. I have neighbours across the road. I have neighbours everywhere. But maybe you kind of live in a rural area. Maybe you live on a farm. Your neighbours might be really far away. If you live in a group of units, maybe you've got other people whose units are in your block and you guys are neighbours too. Maybe you have a classroom of kids next door to your class and maybe they're kind of like your neighbour class. For the next few weeks at JREV, we're going to be talking a lot about neighbours, not the TV show. And we're going to start to stretch your idea of who your neighbours really are. Why would we be doing that? Well, because... Jesus. You see, there's this story in the Bible where a guy asks Jesus, who is my neighbor? And that might seem like a weird question since we clearly just identified that neighbors are often the people who kind of live next door to you or do life next door to you. But I think that this guy maybe was starting to question if maybe he needed to think about other people beyond the people who live right next door to him. Now, we're going to focus on that story a bit more next week, so just hit the fast forward button. We're going to jump ahead. So Jesus helped the man understand the answer to his question by telling him quite a long story. But really, the answer to his question was that pretty much everyone is our neighbour. So, yes, our neighbours are definitely the people who kind of live around where we live on our street. But also... They're the people that we kind of go to school with. They're also the people that we see at the shops. They're also the other people who live in our state and in our country. And actually, we've got neighbours all over the planet. That's a lot of neighbours. You see, when God made us, he made us to be in relationship not just with him, but with each other as well. And he wanted us to be respectful and kind to each other 
and to look out for each other. Now, we had Robert on the show with us just before, and that was to celebrate NAIDOC Week. And NAIDOC Week is a fantastic way to celebrate people that have been in Australia on our land for thousands and thousands of years. And can I tell you, NAIDOC Week is a good chance for us to also pause and remember and acknowledge that actually we haven't always been very kind to Indigenous people and to their beautiful land. It's a chance for us to say sorry for the things that we've done to Indigenous people and to their land, but it's also a chance to make a commitment to say we can do better. It's a chance to celebrate our Indigenous neighbours, to celebrate their culture and their language, their art, their cooking, so many wonderful things that they've contributed to Australia and to the world. And it's a chance for us all to practice being great neighbours like Jesus was encouraging this man to think about. So, who are our neighbours? Well, it's everyone, including Australians that have been here for thousands of years. And being a good neighbour is really just about bringing God's kingdom here to earth, showing other people how much we love them, how much God loves them, and how much they matter by working together to be respectful, to get along with each other, and to celebrate each other. Pretty cool, hey? So happy NAIDOC week from us here at JREV and we want to remind you that if you don't remember anything else from today, we want you to remember this. Everyone is our neighbour. So let's pray and we'll ask for God's help to be a great neighbour. Dear Jesus, we thank you so much that you've already taught us how to be a great neighbour. We thank you for the example that you set in how to take care of people we pray that you would help us to be a great neighbour to everyone that we meet and everyone who lives on planet Earth. Amen. Our memory verse is from 1 Peter 3, 8. Be like-minded. Be sympathetic. Love each other. Be compassionate and humble. Let's do it one more time. 1 Peter 3, 8. Eight. Be like-minded, be sympathetic, love each other, be compassionate and humble. Hey Sarah, mm-hmm. guess what time it is? Lunch time? Almost, it's only 11.39, but it's actually time for our J-Rev Weekly Challenge. Oh, what are we doing this week? This week, I want us to find out whose land you live on. What do you mean? Well, we spoke about earlier that it's actually NAIDOC week. Ah, uh, of course. Mm. And so we've been learning all about the traditional landowners of whose land we live on. So we kind of live in the same area. Mm. So we actually live in the same house. Mm. But whose land do we live on? So we live and work in the land of the Ghana people. Oh, of course. Mm. They're the traditional landowners. And actually, did you know what? What? I didn't actually grow up in the land of the Ghana people. I did. I grew up in Port Augusta, and oh. around there it's the uh, Adyamatna and Pitanjara country. Oh, that's cool. So you've lived in a few different lands. Mm. Yeah, and I've had a bunch of friends who are from those different people groups, and mm. I've learned all about them, and it's been really fun. That's awesome. So I wonder if the guys at home could figure out whose land they're living on, and maybe they even want to send it into the letterbox. That'd be brilliant. Maybe learn about who you live with whose land you're on and something about them. Maybe they could even take a photo of their feet on the land that they live on. That's a great idea. Yeah. Go and do that. I think I might actually, I might go and do that just because, you know, I think it's really cool that we live in such a beautiful country. Yeah, you should take your shoes off so you can feel the squishy grass. Okay, all right. I'm going to take off my shoes. See you later, J-Rev. Bye. Oh, I haven't washed my feet in a while. Is that better? Yeah, that's going to be smelly. It's very smelly.